Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining today from the Better Business Bureau here in Wisconsin, my friend Tiffany Schultz. Tiffany, how are you doing today? I'm great. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You didn't say yes. I'm not supposed to say yes. What am I talking about? Well, it's tight. I like the title of this. The Can You Hear Me scam is still ringing. You know, this is an old scam. That's new again. Uh, you know, think back to those Verizon commercials many years ago. The person on the commercial, can you hear me? Scammers took advantage of that line. And what happens during the scam is they call you up and you might sound, hear a little bit of crackling in the line. Maybe the person tells you that they're having problems with their headset. And they ask you, can you hear me? They're waiting for a yes. That's their goal in this scam. What you don't know is that that yes can be later edited by AI technology and used to use to scam you down the road by authorizing some type of major purchase. It's interesting because you're right. This had, had been out there, kind of went silent, so to speak. Probably was still happening in then just different formats. But uh, ultimately, if this happens to you and you think it's somebody, you're kind of like ultimately screwed, like right away, like, because you just naturally like, yes, I can hear you, of course. Right. They try to catch you off guard. And the goal is not to say yes. The goal is to hang up on this person. So tips to avoid the scam. Use caller ID to screen your calls. I, I don't even answer my phone at this point because I can't trust anybody. That's what we want you to do. If you don't know who's calling, go ahead and put the call through the voicemail and don't call them back until you have researched the caller. Scammers like to leave messages to get you to call them back. But if you don't know the number, simply do an internet search on it. See who's really calling you before you return that phone call. What about just hanging it up? Just hang up on them. Scammers are relentless. They'll move on to somebody else if they're not getting uh some kind of engagement from you. But you really shouldn't take that call in the first place because that also opens you up to more calls, basically, because now the line's been like, oh, it's a real line. You shouldn't, but there's cases of business owners who also use their phones for business use where they do answer a call. They don't want to miss a phone call. So if you happen to go ahead and pick that call up, go ahead and hang up because the less engagement that you give them, the better. All right. How about joining the do not call registry? Is it worth it? If you're not on the do not call list, go ahead and get yourself on it. Do not call.gov. You can search to make sure that your number is not already on it. If you're not on it, put yourself on it. It's going to help eliminate a lot of the calls that are coming through that you don't want. Definitely worth uh, checking out and doing for sure. Uh, check your bank statement. So maybe you, uh, you said yes and all of a sudden you find out like, hey, what's this unauthorized charge? And this could be months or years down the road. Always make sure that you're checking your bank and credit card statements to make sure that no unauthorized charges have been posted to them. It's also a good idea to check your phone bills too because they could be using that unauthorized yes to make unauthorized phone calls. Keeps going. I just, man, man, can't even answer the phone now. But you, you can, but you just got to... Be smart about it. You have to be careful. All right. Well, if you want to learn more, or more importantly, report this, because that's the only way we're going to catch these fraudsters. we got to report it. It's so important to report these. Your report helps us to warn consumers in the marketplace of what's going on out there. That's how we found out about this scam, that it's continuing to go on. BBB continues to receive reports about it regularly. Yeah, I'm. We'll have. I know we're gonna have more talks about AI and and the intricacies of of how that plays into all this. But more importantly, it's it's really down to the basics of of understanding that there are people out there that are trying to take advantage of you in a lot of different ways. So if, if you can stay ahead of and keep yourself kind of educated, you could avoid these situations and and then just keep on reading about it too. Scams aren't going away. We need to be smarter than the scammers. Come on, just one time you need to come on here and say, you know what, this is this is it, Jeremy. We did it. But, uh, you know, we're in this fight together. <laughs> <laughs> You're so awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate your time. And again, check out BBB and report these things, please. I, I We joke around here a lot, but reporting it is so important uh, so we can catch these rodsters and uh, hopefully you're not anybody uh, is getting in trouble out there. BBB.org slash scam tracker. Thank you, Tiffany. Thanks for having me.